KOR to Sports Hoop with Jose Benavides Sr. Uh, working with the Jean uh, along with your son uh, David Benavides. Uh, let's start off with uh, the Uh Tell us first, uh, how did that come about? How long you've been working with him? How, how's the relationship going? Well, you know, first of all, you know, I want to thank you. Thank you guys uh, for everybody that makes this happen, you know, for the opportunity to come over here and give us an interview. Uh, well, Dijon, man, uh, this is the second time I'm working with him. I had the opportunity, the pleasure to work with him on his last fight when we won the title. So um, I didn't think they were going to come back, you know, because now he's a champion. Now he can choose whoever he wants to work with. I, I heard that he was uh, offered to go work with Freddie, and, uh, and uh, he decided to come here, you know. Uh, I mean, to me, Freddie's one of the best trainers in the world right now, you know, one of the best, you know. And I had the opportunity to work with them. So I'm, I'm, you know, really happy that they came back and uh, chose me to work with them for this other fight with Mikey Garcia. I'm sure that uh, that was a big deal for them too, the fact that you actually won the title with them and everything like that. What was that moment like kind of winning the, the title, your first time uh, working with a fighter? Well, you know, uh, man, it, it, feels, it feels great, you know, it feels, it, it, words can't even describe what you feel inside, you know. I mean, to me, he's the first one that I won the WBC belt, you know. I mean, to me, that's one of the best belts, in my opinion, you know. Uh, I mean, it's well known, it's been established for a long time, so it was unbelievable, it was great, you know. And even just for that, I was thankful for them to give me the opportunity to be with them in that, that day for that fight. You're, uh, like you said, you're matched up with uh, Mikey Garcia. I've been telling everyone, I told you earlier, I told, I told them as well, this is like a super fight. I, and I tell all boxing, boxing fans, I've been promoting it as that. But I feel just because Dijon's name recognition isn't, you know, as high as, as, as it should be. But, I mean, you guys are taking it as a super fight, right? Well, yeah, of course, you know, this is, a. I mean, once again, you know, one of the best trainers also, uh, Robert Garcia, you know, to me, you know, I have a lot of respect for him. He's a great person, a great trainer. And Mikey Garcia, you know, I mean, they're calling him pound for pound fighter, you know, I mean, really technical. Uh, man, you know, it's a, it's a, I think it's going to be a great fight. Uh, I think we're going to beat him, though, you know, <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, you know, I think, I, I think. Dijon has everything to beat Mikey Garcia, uh, and uh, he's going to become a superstar, you know. Uh, we're working really hard, and, you know, uh, and, I mean, we're happy to fight somebody like Mikey Garcia and, again, one of the best corners, his father and uh, Robert also. You know, it's a pleasure to me, you know, to be uh, fighting with some, somebody like that, you know. I mean, uh, and it, it, it's just a pleasure. Well, what's it like game planning for Mikey? Because... Obviously, he had all those fights, you know, two years ago, but he's only had maybe one fight in the last two years uh, where he has been at the higher weight class, and it was only a few rounds. What What's it been like having to try to game plan for kind of a, a larger size Mikey Garcia? Well, we're trying to get advantage of everything that we can. You know, he hasn't fought for, I mean, he didn't fight for almost three years, and then he fought a guy that... I, I believe, you know, was uh, 122. He came out to 137. Uh, and, uh, I mean, Mikey was, I think, to my opinion, you know, I, I'm, 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 you know, a lot of people would not agree with me, but I think he was having problems, you know, in the beginning, you know. But eventually he stopped him. You know, he did a pretty good job. But to me, Mikey is not the same, you know, uh, as he was when he was coming up, you know. I mean, uh, maybe maybe a little bit of ring rust or, or whatever, you know. Uh, 135, you know, you know, hopefully he has no problems giving 135, but he hasn't given 135 since maybe three years. He's a little bit older. The metabolism, you know, and, and the age is a little bit different. So I think that's a little bit of advantage for us. Uh, uh, Dijon, you know, Dan, he's a natural 135. You know, he's been looking good. He's been active. He hits really hard. Uh, Mikey Garcia is really technical. So I think uh, we have a lot of good advantages to ourselves right now, you know. Is, do you feel like it's maybe a, a bit too much, kind of a lot to, um, what's the word, like kind of like, like uh, he's biting off more than he could chew, being that this is only his second fight in three years or year two, two and a half years or whatever, and Dijon is, is, is a killer in there. You know, uh, Mikey, you know, he's a true champion. You know, he's a great champion. Uh, he took this fight. In my opinion, you know, I, I think he should have taken another tune-up fight, you know, just to get in rhythm. And I think nothing could have stopped him, you know. But he, he's uh, he's playing with fire right now. He's playing with some, he's uh, fighting somebody that hits really hard. And he's shown, you know, when he beat a red catch, uh, Ricky Burns and all these guys, you know, I mean, 
this guy came from nothing. And now he's kind of known in the United States, you know. Now I think he, I think this is the hardest, tough fight that he's going to uh, be in, you know. And of course, it's going to be the same for the Dayan also. But um, I think in my opinion, I, I mean, he should have taken another tuna fight. But like he says, you know, he's a true champion and he wants the best. Uh, but I think, like I said, you know, he should have taken another fight before this one. Do you think this uh, victory over Mikey puts Dijon at, at like the superstar level? Oh, you kind of like. I think once uh, we beat Mikey Garcia, man, uh, Dayan is going to be a superstar. Uh, you know, he's coming with everything. He's fighting for his country. He's fighting for his daughter, his family. Uh, man, you know, he has a lot of heart, man. You know, uh, this guy is coming with everything, you know. Uh, I mean, I don't see him losing, you know. Uh, he, man, the pride that he has, you know, it's going to, I mean, it just. I feel chills, you know, right, just, yeah. you know, when he talks to me and, you know, he says, uh, Jose, this is everything for me, you know? So, uh, man, it's going to be a great fight. I can't <laughs> wait, man. No, I can't wait either. I asked Dijon uh, when I interviewed him at the Cuellar Mares fight, I asked him, what's it like? I mean, obviously, he's a power puncher. He's an aggressive fighter. He likes to come forward. And, and Mikey has those tendencies as well. He'll, he likes to scrap. He likes to kind of bite down on his mouthpiece and, and, and I'll fight fire with fire. I asked him, how excited are you? when you get a style matchup like that, and he's like, oh yeah, I love it. And he's like, and, and he told me, he's like, if he decides to go toe to toe with me, he's getting knocked out. What's it like for a trainer kind of prepping for, knowing what your fighter's like and how he fights and prepping for a guy that's willing to do the same? Well, it's very interesting because, uh, I mean, we all know, you know, Mikey is really good on the outside, you know, with good distance, with good jab, right hand, left hook, you know? Uh, why would you change something so good and so perfect into something else? You know, so I think he's going to fight the same way. You know, he's going to try to keep his distance. He's going to try to box him and wait for the opportunity to land that right hand or maybe the hook. I mean, it, I mean, I don't know why he would change that, you know. I mean, why would I take that hook from away from uh, Dan also, you know, the one that, you know, he's been stopping people and knocking people out. I think we're just going to, I mean, we, we are working on whatever he has, you know, and, and making it. A little bit better you know we're practicing on what he has and you know I mean we're also working on other things you know too um, that I mean hopefully they work during the fight you know but when you have a fighter you know too you know like Mikey Garcia and Dijon you know fighting their whole lives and get to where they got I mean there's not so many things that you can change you know you could only tweak little things and try to make them a little you know change two or three things and uh, and I mean fight what, what you had what made them champions you know i was gonna say you gotta you gotta work with what got you there right yeah exactly yeah. why 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 would you want to you know <laughs> I, I mean i hear a, i hear a lot of trainers you know they say oh you know you know i got this fighter he's a totally new fighter you know i mean it's it, it would be unbelievable that you could just change people like that you know <laughs> i mean I, that would be great you know but no no you know i think you know i've been in the business for almost uh 17 years also you know uh, and you know i, I mean i Maybe I work different, you know. I, I work on what I see, what on what they have. I just try to make a little bit better and and try to, you know, learn little, tweak little things, kind of turn their 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 bodies a little bit, try to pivot, you know, and try to move their head a little bit, a little bit at angles, or if they could get it, you know. But not all of them can get it, you know. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely want to talk about your son, uh, David Benavidez, fighting January 28th on the undercard. You're going to be a busy, busy man that night. Uh, 16 and 0, uh, 15 knockouts. I mean, definitely the biggest prospect in uh, in the super middleweight division right now. Why do you feel like I, I I feel even being in boxing media that he's not getting as much attention as he should be? Why do you feel that is? Uh, you know what? No, you know, actually, I'm, I'm really happy. You know, I'm, I mean, uh, he's only he, he just turned 20 years old. And, uh, I mean, like last month, uh, he's really young. Uh, he only had 12 amateur fights. I mean, he has 16 and 15 knockouts, I think. Uh, no, I'm really happy, you know, the way that, you know, uh, they're moving him, you know, with his promoter, uh, you know, and, and uh, I mean, everything's going great. I think it's just Sansom is doing a great job, you know. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm happy, man, you know. Uh, it's just because I'm a fan. I feel like he should be getting more exposure. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, you know, I mean, hopefully little by little, you know, if he keeps improving, you know, he'll be fighting uh, better and better opponents, you know. But I think we have a lot of time, you know. Uh, uh, we're not choosing, like, the fighters, if, if you can see, and all the people that follow him, you know, he's been fighting tough fighters, too. So, I mean, 
uh, he's been doing good. I think uh, if everything goes well, like how he's doing, you know, hopefully next year, we're in 2016, maybe 2017, uh, maybe in the middle, uh, he's going to be fighting for the youth, uh, youth uh, w, WBC youth title. Um, hopefully by the middle of the year, maybe uh, if everything goes well, if, if it goes, how everything's going, I, well, I think we're going to fight for uh, title. Nice, that'd be awesome. Well, how do you, obviously he's a power puncher, he's only gone the distance one time. How do you kind of keep him, his mindset to like, we have to train the full, you know, 8, 10, 12 rounds, whatever it is. Like, how do you kind of keep that motivation going with him, or is it just he kind of does it on his own? Yeah, you know, Dave, it's really easy for me, man. You know, I don't have to keep him motivated. I don't have to push him. Sometimes I got to tell him, that's it, man, you know, that's it. And he's always, no, come on, let's do one more, you know, let's keep training. Uh, this kid, man, motivates me, you know. Mm. I mean, man, you know, he's, man, you know, he wakes up, he's really uh, dedicated, he's really disciplined, uh, and, you know, he always comes with new stuff, you know? He's always learning every day, man, and sometimes, you know, he gets really frustrated because he wants to do things right away, and I tell him, dude, it takes time, you know? Relax, you know? Sometimes I just got to tell him to relax. He, If I don't stop him, he keeps going, he keeps going, he keeps going, man. And, uh, I mean, he's, he's different, man. I, I think... Uh, uh, I mean, if he continues like this, you know, every every day I get uh, motivated and I get surprised every day, you know, with different things. And he loves to watch a lot of boxing. Uh, to be honest with you, he learns a lot about himself, you know, and then he puts it to work, you know. And then I'm just there, you know, to, oh, yeah, let's keep doing that. You know, that looks really good. Let's just try to get it better. That's awesome having a pupil like that who wants to can continue learning and stuff like that. Definitely want to ask you about Junior Jose Benavides. Uh, we only saw him once this last year against Santana. He looked great, uh, but we haven't seen him. He's only fought that one time. What's what's the latest with him? What, when can we see him again? Uh, you know, yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, he's been training since he was six years old. You know, I mean, he never really had time for himself. Uh, now he's 24. Uh, I think he wants to make his own mistakes, you know, because I was always tell him, you know, don't do this, don't do that. Um, and, you know, I don't want to ruin the relationship. I love boxing, but to me, you know, my family is most important than anything else. So I got to I gotta learn, too, how to stay away for a little bit and, and you know, give him some space. And, and uh, I'm pretty sure he's going to come back. What else is he going to do, you know? Uh, he's doing well, you know, he's doing good. Uh, uh, I just, you know, I just want to make sure he you know he wants it you know the good thing is that he's not doing it for the money or he wants to fight for money or whatever you know um i think uh pretty soon you, you'll see him you know he's, he's saying that he's gonna come back he's gonna come back but um you know when the time is right you know uh we'll we'll train again uh, it's gonna take us a little bit more longer you know maybe i'm thinking like about five six months just to make sure that he's there his rhythm is there and you know i top rank has been doing a great job with them you know i mean fantastic job with them uh it, it's just about him coming back and and i call him you know and i tell him hey you know listen he's back and i they'll, they'll, they'll do the right thing like always you know uh and maybe a little tune-up fight and then you know back to the big fights I was going to say, so you'd rather him kind of take a tune-up first and then... Yeah, well, of course, you know, I, I mean, why, you know, I mean, I don't know how long he's going to take out, you know. Uh, hopefully, I, I got to make sure, like I said, take like about five, six months still, you know, just to make sure, you know, stay in shape, do a lot of sparring. And, you know, I feel that like the last three fights, he hasn't been learning nothing, you know. It's more just losing the weight. You know, I don't want to do that again. You know, I want to make sure he's learning and I can see that he's motivated and he, he is learning, you know. Um, it, I'm just saying five to six months, but maybe it could take less than that. But definitely I would like, you know, for top rank to give us like a little tuna fight and, and see how he is. And then from there, you know, we'll go. Well, Jose, thank you so much for the time, man. Tell, uh, tell the fans where to follow you, social media, all that stuff. Yeah, you know, another thing, too, I want to thank everybody, you know, from day one, you know, that they've been supporting us, all the fans in Arizona, California, uh, pretty much everywhere, Mexico, man. And, and uh, man, you know, they, they're always sending good comments and, and, you know, they're always motivating me, you know, to keep going. And I, that feeds me. And I'm really thankful for that. And uh, everybody could follow me at uh, Jose Benavides Sr., a Twitter. Also, uh, uh, Benavides Boxing, uh, Facebook, and um, pretty much that, that's it. Hey, Jose, thank you so much for the time. I really appreciate it. Follow him. He's, uh, he's a good follow, and uh, you got to see kind of some of the inside stuff going on at camp. So thank you so much, Jose. Thank really, really, really appreciate it, man.